friends. Oh, my lights are bright again. Boy, I'm having lighting issues. I'll just keep looking down so my bangs will be shaded. <laughs> Hi, friends. So, you guys have seen me do the eggs, the little Easter eggs. Oh, it's really, those are just my regular lights. If I shut those off, it'll be too dark. Hey, Randy, are you in here? Hmm. Let me go shut them off, you guys, because my light is just too bright. Hang on. Is it too dark? Is it too, oh, it's not too dark. Okay, that's so much better. Who'd have thought? It's really dark here. <laughs> so, hi, good morning, good morning. I'm finishing up some eggs that I got. I had a customer, um, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want everybody texting her for goose eggs, but um, I met one of these, uh, one of my friends online and she, um, lives out of town but she has a little rental house uh, near me and so she called for me to come and look at it um, to list it maybe for real estate um, she's fixing it up and whatever anyway she has geese and she gets one egg a day and so she gave me one two three four five six seven eight nine eggs and so I want to come on here and show you guys what I did with them good morning Teresa so you saw last night in the club how, you know, I was kind of messing with them there. Uh, but they're, they're exactly the same as I did these the other day for you guys to see. Um, but they're bigger. So <laughs> this is a goose egg. This is a regular egg. <laughs> so it's two, two large eggs for one goose egg so you do the same th like i did the same thing with the holes you know to um, drain them out so when you if you guys are doing this if you guys are doing this um hi sandy good morning let me see who i'm seeing here yeah good morning so you take your take a needle and you're supposed to press it down on a countertop with this kind of an egg, with a regular egg, and be really careful, plan on breaking a couple, but you do put your needle in the top and bottom and then you kind of wiggle it around. Or you can tap it in, whatever. So I could not figure out how to bust a hole in these. And so I took a nail, because these are much thicker, much heavier. Um, let me see if you can tell. Like this is a real egg. No, you can't tell because I don't have any fingernails. Oh, you can't tell at all. <laughs> but trust, trust me, these are really thick. So I took a nail, tap, tap, tap the nail in, and then I took a screw, like a, um, a pretty decent sized spiral screw, and I kind of plunged it in and out to make the hole bigger, and only one of them kind of hairline cracked. So that was how I did it. Oh, no problem, Teresa. You have a great day. You caught all this last night. So here's what they'll be like done. I just did one and then I thought I'm gonna come on and show them. So since I have so many new friends here, um, I just thought I would show you guys. So, and this is egg painting weekend, right? So I took her goose eggs and I, and I got the holes in them and then I blew my brains <laughs> like great. I blew hard to get the gunk out, the egg out. And then I, when I got to the yellow part, I had to break that because like the, the seal of the yellow part was really thick and there was no way we we're gonna get that through this little tiny hole. So anyway, I had to do a little, uh, I did a little pulling and blowing and I got them all done. And it took me probably a good hour and a half maybe <laughs> to do nine so anyway so then I painted them all so it's the same with these eggs I painted half of it I laid it out and I oh I held it and I painted half okay so just like this much where my hand is I painted and then I laid them on a paper towel to dry then when they were dry I flipped them over and I painted the other half I did the same thing with the little eggs that I did with the big eggs okay once they're painted, then I added a little bit of water to white paint, and I just added petals. I used two different size brushes, a bigger brush and a smaller brush, and I just covered the eggs with different shapes of flowers. Some had four petals, some had five, okay? 
All right, so now let me just tip you down just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish them off. I know a lot of you guys have already seen this, um, but I know some of you haven't, so I'm gonna show you. So then, once you make your little flowers, all right, then, oh, you're gonna try with turkey eggs. Oh, would, so would a turkey egg be bigger than this? Or is, I would think it would be at least the same. This is a regular large egg. And this is a goose egg. So yes, I tapped a nail in there, plunged it out with a screw, blew it out, painted it one side, painted the other side. Then I did my flowers and my green leaves. And each flower, I kind of did different colors in the centers, um, like that. Okay, so, so I did that. And then all you do is take your marker. How can I do this so you guys can see here? All right. Oh, this one has one, two, three, four, five. This one has five. But you, you just kind of make black marks. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, and then I make a marks around the middle, and then I'll just make some little hashes for like the petals, okay? And then I trace somewhat. I'm not tracing the whole thing, and then I'll do a vein in the leaf. And that's it. But doesn't that pop them? I mean, they're very pretty like this and you wouldn't have to do anything to it, but look how it pops when you add that black. See that? It really pops. So, oops, oh, oh, I almost dropped one. Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go. All right, and I'm just tracing around some of these. I'm gonna do my middle, and I was even off a little bit on that, but it's fine, it's, it's fine. It looks good, and in the mix of all of this, you know what, if you get one that you're not crazy for, you're never gonna see it when you get it in the bowl with all of the other ones. They all just kind of mesh together. Do my leaf and a line. It's too small to do a line and I'll do some markings in here. You don't have to. See how easy that is, you guys? It's so fun and relaxing and just a different way to do your Easter eggs. And I even, I had a couple of you after I did it ask to do show them again or I can't remember what it was, but oh, I know what it was. I did these in my paid group. That's what it was. And then I decided to come on and show you guys what we were doing over there. That's right. And so I just painted up regular eggs that like we fry for breakfast. <laughs> so I had to tell my husband, these aren't hard boiled. Like <laughs> these, <laughs> these are raw eggs. And I just did them on white because some of these, let's see. Oh, I must have another dish. I do. I have another bowl of these over on my fireplace. I did some just on plain white eggs. And that's, that was what I did. I didn't paint the white eggs out so and then I just have a little silver tray and I'm gonna put the big eggs you know with the small eggs and I think they'll be pretty and then what I need to do is be on the lookout for an awesome big basket for next year and I will display all like the bigger ones maybe in the bottom and layer the smaller ones in with them so that's what I was thinking is um, why I made them all the same because you know I just don't have that much space here at my house to have eggs everywhere <laughs> and when they're all different you know that kind of gets busier so I made them all the same because I love these and um, yeah so I've got to find a basket with some really great texture um, and maybe a shape that I could use for other things but Anyway, I couldn't believe I didn't have an awesome basket, but I really don't. I should just do some garage sailing, right, and get some really good ones. So, anyway, that's all I'm gonna do. I just thought I'd show you guys really quickly. Go around the leaf, up the stem. You can leave a few marks if you want. Just how, the more you do with your marker, the more it pushes the flower back. Like, you'll find in, in any sort of art thing that you do, each layer does push the next thing back. And we found that out when we were doing walls. Like we would get a wall painted and, and then we would start a base coat and we weren't crazy about it. But when we started adding the next layer to it, it just made all the difference in the world. And 
So we've kind of learned even on canvas or whatever you're doing, the more layers, the better. It just pushes things farther back and farther back. So, and you can see this, you know, when I was painting the eggs, I thought, gosh, I need to just leave them plain painted. They looked pretty just painted plain. And I thought, no, I want the flowers. So then I did the flowers and now look, it, it just, they can stand alone or not. They can be, um, you know, see the difference though? That black really pops it. This keeps it a little more Victorian maybe. This makes it a little more fun. So anyway, I'll post a uh, picture. Whoop, what the heck did I do? Oh, I took both, I've got a double-ended thingy here. <laughs> How fancy is that? Gee, double-ended Sharpie, who knew? <laughs> oh man, so okay you guys. You like him, Rochelle? Thank you. Good morning. In between a goose egg. Okay. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Good. Hi, Deborah. Okay, guys. I'm going to go. I just wanted to show you really quick what I was doing. And then I'll put a picture when I'm all done of the two trays together. And then maybe next year I can show you a picture in a basket. So you guys have a great day. It's always fun crafting with you. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Bernita. Bye.